Hey, people of the internet. Hello? Hi? Can I do my intro now? Hey, people of the internet. I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, we last time we finished up with the first trial, and we're on the second one. Turnabout Sisters. Hello? This is Maya? Hey, Maya. It's me. I'm sorry if I do these voices wrong again. There were so many last time I don't even remember who I gave what. Mia? What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry. I've been busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. It's all your fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's a clock. Okay. A clock? Yeah. It's made to look like the statue the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. <laughs> hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ha, huh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take out the clockwork, sorry. Jeez! I put some papers inside instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Let's see, I'm gonna turn my volume up on my mic a little bit. Can you come by the can you come by the office tonight, say nine o'clock, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. Really go for a good burger. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. All right. It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. It's not a phone. That's an alarm clock. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27 a.m. Okay. Alright, September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Bay and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Fay, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Fay, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? <laughs> you are not con you are not coniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I I should have been more careful. Oh. Uh -huh. What are you, Santa? Santa is the killer in this one, apparently. Wh why? Stop going ho ho. You're giving Saint Nick a poor name. You're giving him a bad name. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal... That explains the end of the last episode.
Oh lord, that's frightening. Red, white, blue. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fan Lock Offices. Fan Cola Offices. Whatever, same thing. Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we should all go out for dinner. Yeah, the only reason for that is because her sister asked for it. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. No time for examining, go! That smell, blood. Oh no. Sis! Someone's, someone's there. Maya. Chief? Chief? Chief! Hi. Who are you? And that's okay. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Alright, so it's a recent death. Well, yeah, it's like, what, three minute difference? Three to five minute difference? Chief. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be remains of a glass light stand. Yeah, that's not good. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice luxurious place. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. But if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantaneously. Where have we heard this story before? The thinker. Lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Again. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper. Must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Oh, that! Hi! No! no. Thank you. A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Department store receipt with letters written in blood on the back. I think that's enough snooping around for now. Better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. Okay. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Police? Please, come quick. What was that? Oh. For some reason, I thought that was Maya. Nope. <laughs> Sad part is I did this not too long ago as well. Police! Someone, come quick! I'm just gonna give her that boy. 
voice. Too many women in this game for me to give separate voices to. Someone screaming from outside the window? Hi! She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. No! No! Actually, what else can we examine in here? Perfectly normal office desk. Chief had a very particularly particular policy about our office decor. Spend big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Hence the old style computer. <laughs> All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Alright, well I guess we're going to check on Maya now. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. If she didn't run on me. Hi! Yeah, jeez! Don't scare me like that! Um, excuse me, but who are you? Who are you? Okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya. Faye? Maya? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her that receipt. Never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Alright. Hey Maya, I got something to show you. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. I thought you just... You do realize in the previous room you, you told yourself that it was instantaneous. But that's true, how would she have time to write that? Th that's my name! Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would this write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. Good job. This is the police! The police? Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Hi! All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumchus. Okay, you know what? I'm giving you one particular voice. All right, I'm Detective Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We've received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Yeah, I see her calling you. I, I saw her calling you guys. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have... Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eh! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that's... That's my name. What? Can you not hear? Do you, do you, do you need help? Can, can you hear me? That is her name. Or do I have to say it like here in your voice? That is her name, see? Better? <laughs> the victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. That's an assumption. You have no proof of that. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Oh, for heaven's sake. What? Here we go again. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. 
I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. Beautiful. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Wow. They have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Cr criminal. Maya! <laughs> My, you're a criminal. What are you doing in there? That's for criminals. Is that an actual word, criminal? I don't know. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Can you blame her? Uh, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. I better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes. I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. They're never going to believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Um, I don't know. Based off the dialogue, I got surprised. I, I, I would have been shocked that somebody was even there. Just, like, unexpected. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought... It, it's okay. I understand. I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow! Oh, bleh! Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Huh. So he crashed and burned? Hey! <laughs> I did not! He's a genius! Oh, well, thank you, Mia. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. I'm not sure about that, but sure, yeah. The only thing he is lacking is experience. Aren't we all? Huh. Sounds like it was fun. Well... I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. Well, that answers that question. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. Excuse you? Excuse you, Mia. No. <laughs> that is, unless you want to be found guilty. Hey! You... That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. There's a difference between the truth and an insult. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of a person who did this to Mia... I know. Ah, poor girl. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all athletes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Okay. A acolytes? Like, people in religious training? What is it What is it you do? Oh, something strange, really. I'm spirit with you. In training. Okay. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. If you say so, buddy. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. 
That clock's shaped like the figure. The one Larry made? Yep. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear in her own voice? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot how to delete the... <laughs> I forgot how to delete those things. Okay, sure. So, you say you have your conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered. That detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. So, you're an acolyte at er, medium in training. That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a sec. Family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. I guess not. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. As you've said multiple times, Phoenix is just stupid enough to deplete that fact. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? Sure. This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well... I'm in trouble. Obviously. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Okay. Sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say. Say, what about your parents? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm gonna take that as a definitely not. I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow. At 10 o'clock. Okay. A.M. or P.M.? What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? I'll do it! He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Didn't I already ask this? I ain't asking it again. Not all. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Okay. Office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! Wait, who's that? 
Oh, it's you. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butch guy, aren't you? Oh, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the, no the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butch guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent by yours truly. Uh, sure. And you were detective. Well, let's see, where are our options? Gumshoe? Suede shoes. <laughs> detective Gumtree. Um, can we go with suede, suede tree? <laughs> Fine. Gumshoe, wasn't it? D Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here! Y yes, sir. But be right there. Um... <clears throat> You're here, lawyer. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, thinks I'm my lawyer. Okay, before I talk about them, can I... Uh... Uh... I was wondering, did you see my FA's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Trick or tricky lawyer. Uh-oh. He's on to me. Tell him straight, I guess. If I tell him why I want there's why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no. It's just you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. Well, ain't that the truth? <laughs> that cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. Cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh huh. Oh. Here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, all after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Alright, well it's mine now. You ain't getting this back. Okay. Okay, so this is the conversation that I already read. Cool. It? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Hold on. Before we do that, I want to make sure of something. It's asking me about her family now? Well, let's just do this. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh. Say, I listen to my sister's voice. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Alright, if I do any more of this, I'm going to start tearing up. All right, let's go check out Grossberg Law Offices now. No, nothing? Okay, the hell. Maybe if I examine a couple of things here. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. Oil paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. It's all a mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. 
expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. If that's the case, Grossberg is lazy. Table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony de Kate. Ugh. Ugh. An elegant ebony case. And if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Maybe. Okay, I guess not yet. Let's talk to you. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, we know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence from an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. But then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What about your family? I only, I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. I don't know when, where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Maybe. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on the mountain. Yeah. Jeez Louise. So, who was the, this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. So what happened? The case was solved. I thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But. Wait. What? But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Great. Okay, there's literally nothing I can do there now. Can I talk to you about anything? Might as well. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. 
All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. That's all I wanted anyway, aside from the phone, which I already have. I mean, thanks. <laughs> um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The Shady's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. What? One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Ah, uh, but I, but I, I, eh. Okay, fine. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. What, is, it, is, just, is she related to June, July, perhaps? I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ha! <laughs> You're trying your loyalty tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should... I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Now we're talking about Edgeworth, apparently. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Yes. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, oh, don't talk to him. Don't talk about him like that in that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredible young age of 20. Wow! Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Yeah, that ain't good. <laughs> All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. I definitely know him more than I say. What am I doing? What am I doing? Move. Can I talk to Grossberg yet? No. <sighs> hey, Gumshoe. Where do you think I should go next? I don't know, see? Maybe to the ho- No, never mind. Do not go to the hotel. I told you not to go there, so do not head over there, you see? Okay. I'm going to stop this video episode here, actually. We'll continue our inspections next time. So, in any case, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Just let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any footage I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, uh, click that box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of this playlist, if you list like the last episode or you want to check out the rest of it in general, click the box across by my head over here. In the meantime, I'm out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!